Should your stem length match your fork offset? That's a good question. In this video, we're gonna take a look at that and a look at all the different size stems I've run and what conclusions I've come up with. So let's dive in. All right, so a few years ago, I read an article that basically said the Trek World Cup downhill team was running a 52 mil stem to match the fork offset of a Fox 40 uh, fork. So offset being the distance between the steering axis and which is the fork tube, steering axis and the axle uh, of the front wheel. So if you look at a typical fork like this one, you'll see that the axle sticks out a little bit from the stanchions and that is the measurement that is called the fork offset. So the article I saw basically said, you know, this is what they're doing. They're trying to match that distance up top with the distance down below. At the time, I was running a RockShox Lyric fork, which has a 44 millimeter offset, and I purchased this stem. So this is a tenet stem. It's a 42 millimeter stem, so two mil, two millimeters shy of the offset, but close enough that I thought I could get a pretty good idea of what matching the offset does in terms of front wheel grip, uh, steering, maneuvering, uh, handling, weight distribution, etc. So I ran this 42 mil stem with these one up carbon bars, 35 mil rise, and had these on my Kinevo SL for about the past year or so, and it felt pretty great. I love to experiment. I love to, to see what other people are using and try new things. So I ran into a video on this stem. This is the Rulesman 18 millimeter stem. And he had some really good points on why he was running a short stem. But one of the points being was you needed a longer reach bike. So keep the distance in the reach in the frame, run longer chain stays to keep it more balanced, and then have this shorter stem up on top so that your handlebars are just turning around a single axis versus going like this in an arc when they're on a long stem. So I thought he had some really good points. I bought this stem, installed it. This is a 31.8 mil clamp versus a 35 mil clamp. So I had to get new handlebars. So I went with some Envy 50 mil rise bars, 31.8 clamp, ran this. This felt great in steep terrain. Everything else, it felt a little, little too, too, I was too far behind the, 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 the fork in the front of the bike. So it just wasn't, wasn't correct for the size frame that I was riding. So I took this off. Then I went with a 30 mil standard I-9 stem. And as you can see, these place the bars in two different positions, right? This one's much taller. This one has the bars a little bit lower. Both of these with the 50 mil NV downhill bar. This stem setup felt awful. Um, front end was washy. Didn't like the input uh, of my, of, I did not like how the, my body, how the inputs reacted on the bike with that stem. I don't know if that makes, if that makes sense. Then I ran in, I saw a video that Brian Cahill did talking about how he always ended up going back to a stem length that matched his fork offset. And it made me think, you know what, Mark, maybe you had it right to begin with. So I switched to a 43 millimeter stem, one millimeter longer than this with my 50 mil bars and did a couple runs. And I have to say the inputs the preciseness and how comfortable I was in the bike felt amazing. I don't know if that's the magic formula. Maybe depending on the size of your, of your, of your bike, the frame size, if you're running maybe a little bit of a smaller size frame for your height. Uh, I'm 6'2", I'm on a Kinevo SL S4. It's about a 485 mil reach. I could probably ride a 500. So. I could go with a longer reach, maybe 500, 505, and then run 
try running a stem like this um, on a bigger, a bigger frame. I think I might like that. But because of my frame size and, and the, the <laughs> dimensions and geometry that I'm working with, I think matching the offset to the stem length may be the way to go. Is there science behind that? I don't know. But if you look at this drawing, you can see where the offset is on the fork. And you can see if the, if the handlebars are over directly in line with the axle of the wheel, I think that, and you look at the contact patch of, of the wheel, I think it makes sense in terms of where the weight is being pushed onto the front of the bike. So now I have a 43 mil spank split stem on the bike and we're gonna watch two videos of me doing runs on shotgun. One was on a, I believe a Saturday morning and then the other one is on a Tuesday. A couple days in between, um, the first run, just pretty much get used to how it feels. Second run, I was definitely pushing. Uh, I was really fatigued when I did the run. I had done a long gravel ride the day before and my legs were toast, but we had had some rain and the dirt looked uh, pretty good. So I wanted to go out and see, see what I could do. Let's watch these and then we'll come back and uh, finish up with some, with some thoughts. I'm just gonna do an easy run, nothing, nothing too crazy. See how this stem feels and uh, give it a little bit of a whirl here. But it definitely felt way more precise than what I was used to. Yeah, it just feels like I can point it wherever I want to. And I feel much more accurate in terms of the steering and where I'm going with it. Yeah, there's more, definitely more weight on the front. Um, and I just feel w way more in control. So yeah, it feels pretty good, I have to say. Funny what a few little millimeters will do. Yeah, I'm turning much better. And I think that's just because I'm over the front more. So this might be the call. Still kind of figuring out the best line over here. I think it's going left here and then dipping in to that and then bringing it around with some speed. Um, everything's feeling much more maneuverable with this stem. So we like that. Yeah. Oh yeah, way better. So interesting how a little change really affects your grip, your uh, maneuverability, all that. All right, so that is shotgun on the 43 mil stem. Um, yeah, I feel way more in control and very precise on my inputs and how the bike reacts. So pretty happy with the change. So this is the stem I put on. Just want to give you guys a close up. It's the Spank split stem, 31.8 uh, clamp diameter. Uh, 
43 mil length. I could not find a, if anyone knows of a 31.8 clamp stem that's a 44 mil length, uh, please leave a, a message in the comments. Um, but yeah, so fork offset and basically trying to match this distance all the way up so that the bars are right over that axle. So pretty happy with that. Felt really good. I mean, I think it felt probably the best I've ever felt on this bike. So uh, that's exciting to me. And brakes felt great. I wasn't having any issues with the front wheel getting weird, probably because my weight's over the front more. And uh, yeah, just, just really felt way more dialed in. So we'll, uh, I'm gonna get some water, let snacks up, and then um, we'll do another run. Okay guys, <clears throat> it is Tuesday morning. Um, I'm on the new 43 mil Spank split stem. I did two runs over the weekend uh, on this setup. Feels really good. So it rained yesterday afternoon, so the dirt should be pretty fast this morning. So I wanted to come out on some fast, fast dirt and see, uh, see how it's handled. So again, pretty much matching the offset of the fork. And uh, I don't know, it may just be, may just be the sweet spot. Um, it's kind of what I've been coming back to, what I had before. I had a 42 on here before, but with a lower rise bar. So there's still a higher setup and a tiny bit longer stem. Um, I haven't been able to find a 44 with a 31.8 clamp. Uh, Frazen makes one with a 35 clamp, but um, there's no 50 mil carbon, 50 mil rise carbon bars in a 35 mil clamp. So, all right, let's uh, let's get the watch going. And not, we're not walking. We are mountain biking. All right, let's. Uh, oh, also, I forgot my. Uh, I'm not wearing glasses right now. So no goggles, no glasses, forgot those. Let's see, let's get clipped in here. How, how the conditions are, how it runs. Should be pretty fast and pretty firm. Oh yeah. Oh man, bouncing all over the place. Suspension might be a little rough or a little, little off on the settings. Not too dug up. We'll just see how, fuck. I can float through here. Catch my breath. Yeah, my back is bouncing all over the place. Whoa. Come on, Mark, hold together. Man, 
Okay, so those were the two runs with the 43 mil stem and the 50 mil rise uh, MB bar. Felt pretty good, felt very fast, um, really precise. I do need to get used to it. I've only done four runs total, I think, with that, with that specific setup. Now, I did find a 44 mil 31.8 clamp stem by Williams Racing down in Australia, and I have ordered that stem. So it is on the way, and I'm gonna definitely try having matching the offset perfectly to the stem length and getting that, uh, giving, giving that a whirl. So is the fork offset your best option? I think it's definitely worth trying. Um, like I said, I've seen multiple athletes talk about it. Uh, I've seen articles on matching it. I've seen, you know, people like Brian Cahill who used to race, uh, EWS Enduro. He's got a channel, uh, definitely look him up. He seems to always fall back to running the stem length at the offset length of 40, 44 mil. Now, is this the ultimate or the perfect setup for you? You know, that really all depends. I think if you're a taller rider and maybe on a little bit of a shorter, shorter reach bike or shorter reach frame, uh, this is definitely worth looking at, uh, especially getting your weight over the front wheel and getting better, better grip, better turning initiation, and just um, better maneuverability on the bike altogether. Now, if you were a friend of mine and you were having issues with your steering or your maneuverability or inputs so just, just didn't feel right, the first thing I would suggest is matching your stem length to your offset and then maybe looking at handlebar position, handlebar height, uh, sweep. There's a bunch of different things. But I think that's, that is going to get your weight in a position where that will do the most good or make the biggest difference. That is it for today. I have a 44 mil stem on the way. There may be a part four, who knows, but definitely give this a whirl. Uh, try different things, see what works, see what doesn't work. There's just so many variables involved in terms of your build, your body proportions, uh, riding terrain, frame size, reach, all kinds of things. But this has definitely made uh, a difference for me and I think it's, it is absolutely worth looking at. So go ride your bikes. Thanks for tuning in and giving this a watch. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I will absolutely get to them. I haven't had any questions lately, so we didn't do a, a viewer questions video this week. But again, um, thanks for tuning into the mark list and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot.